Hey everybody, Ready Goes Green here, and we are back with another unboxing. This time we have WWE Mattel's Series 87, Santos Escobar, aka El Hijo del Fantasma. So here we see Escobar, first time in the line, comes with lots of cool accessories. Uh, he is currently in NXT with his faction. Um, and here we see some more details about the former NXT Cruiserweight Champion. Here it says, after winning the NXT Cruiserweight Championship Tournament, El Hijo del Fantasma unmasked to reveal his true identity, the dangerous Santos Escobar. So, this was a pretty interesting, you know, storyline that happened whenever they're doing this NXT Cruiserweight Championship Tournament. They're kind of relaunching the NXT Cruiserweight Championship to be part of NXT, um, formerly part of just 205 Live. You know, sometimes it was on the... Uh, other shows like Raw and SmackDown, but mostly it was on 205 and it kind of now shifted to NXT around this time um, So here we see Santos Escobar comes with the NXT Cruiserweight Championship some extra hands of course and a masked head So I'm really looking forward to cracking this one open and taking a closer look at this superstar So let's go ahead and crack him open and see what's up um I think lately he has not been really on NXT, you know, uh, at, at this time of the recording, we're talking about NXT 2.0. Um, I'm not sure about y'all. I haven't really been watching it that faithfully. I mean, there's some cool stuff that's been going on, but you know, there's just not enough me on the bone for me to keep tuning in every week, especially with so many of my favorites, no longer part of the brand. So NXT 2.0, not really for me, but maybe you're enjoying it. But here we have the former NXT Cruiserweight Champion with the championship, new head sculpt hands. So let's crack him open, pull him out of this plastic and see what he comes with. Uh, let's see. There's like a rubber band here holding it in place. So here we have Santos Escobar with all his different accessories, um, but let's take a closer look at him. See his uh, head sculpt dead on, looks just like him. I feel like the neck is a little high, but uh, I think that's to make up for the space with the long hair of the masked head sculpt. So we'll take a switch and look at what that looks like. So here he comes with his tattoos, um, a lot of great detail. Also on the back, you see his graphic, Legado del Fantasma. Legacy of Phantasma. There he is with his boots. Pretty neat. Has this kind of mask design. The rose. Other side, the rose. Interesting style boots. Different than usual. Um, I, I know he's a cruiserweight champion, but he does seem a little, I don't know, skinnier in the arms. I feel like he's bigger in real life where his little arms are kind of long. But all in all, pretty great figure, has everything you could ask for, because uh, because it includes, of course, the new design of the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. Um, it's in black, has still has a, has a little bit of the purple details, uh, kind of dark purple now. And the biggest change is the NXT logo, used to have the WWE logo, um, the black strap instead of the purple, no more orange details, just kind of a plain black and silver look. Uh, I mean, I like this. I probably prefer black leather on championships, um, but this one looks pretty cool. Um, I'm excited to have this as part of the collection now. So let's uh, let's go ahead and strap him up with a championship belt. This is probably how be how I would display him. He was a great uh, champion. He gave a lot of um, great matches defending this title and really brought a lot of... Um, I think brought a lot of uh, prestige to the championship, which is funny because sometimes the title, uh, you know, the title doesn't really, I don't know, sometimes the title makes the guy, but sometimes the guy makes the title. So like whatever title you have, if you have it on the right guy, they make they make the title seem really important. So at the time when he was champion, he made the NXT championship, the Cruiserweight championship uh, seem really important. But this Santos Escobar is not how he won the NXT Cruiserweight Championship. This is how he defended it. When he won it, he was this guy, El Hijo del Fantasma. So let's pop this off real quick and see how it looks like with the new heads with the other head sculpt. So that popped off pretty easily. And let's see if we can pop this one back on. Huh. Okay, so unfortunately, I thought I almost broke this figure trying to put the new head sculpt on because the it was just too tight to fit the um, piece that goes inside. So I had to go heat it up a little bit and now it fits in really good, uh, very easily. And here we have the mask 
El Hijo de Fantasma. Now this is a great mask, simple design, but they got a lot of good details there with the paint application. So there's not any, any there's not really any other like, you know, molded details. It's just a plain kind of lucha mask on them. Uh, and they just print it on the design. In the back you see some more of the design. Um, but I do like the hair that's molded out, coming out of the bottom. Uh, he doesn't have like a lot of elaborate things on his mask anyway, so I think this works and I think it looks really great. He wore this mask for every round of the tournament for the NXT Championship until eventually he beat, I think it was Drake Maverick in the finals, um, unmasking and then turning heel, you know, beating up uh, Drake Maverick. So this is Santos Escobar with the mask on, El Hijo de Fantasma. Uh, other thing I noticed is that he has his white armband. This may be because it was like early, but I'm pretty sure he had like the uh, skull on here, maybe, or maybe it came later, but I don't think it was just a plain armband that he wore, but I guess I could be wrong, but eventually he came out with a new armband with his uh, design on there, just like the ones on his trunks. So his the whole crew, his whole faction wore the armband with a different logo on there for their faction. So all in all, I think this is a really awesome figure. It comes with a very unique accessory with another masked head as he is El Hijo de Fantasma with the new NXT Black and Silver Cruiserweight Championship. Um, simple details on the boots. It does have this, this mold. I think it's kind of new. Um, other than that, nothing else. Uh, I hate this. <laughs> Definitely. I hate when this happens. Um, they try to just paint the elbow pad on, but then you see the clear, you know, uh, you clearly see the skin tone underneath. Very terrible look. Now, the other interesting part about this is that I think this is a double jointed elbow. Yeah, it is. So this is something new they started adding to the elites, the double jointed elbow, but you can see how bad it looks like here because you can <laughs> obviously the skin see the skin through the elbow pad. So can't be bending that elbow the way you want it to unless you want to show all that skin. But on this side, you can definitely bend the elbow all the way back and show off the double jointed elbow. Uh, you may have to mess with that a little bit. There you go. Double jointed elbow on this side. So you can really uh, do a big flex maybe. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Can't do that double by though because then you'll see the uh, elbow pad. But here is El Hijo de Fantasma, aka Santos Escobar. Um, great figure. Great figure. You can see here the other part here, like the little white, uh, I mean the flesh tone where it should be white. That's a pet peeve of mine. But other than that, it looks pretty good. Pretty decent figure. I'm not sure how I'll display them. Uh, oh, yeah. The only thing that I feel like this is really missing is maybe like. Um, the accessory that came with Andrade, uh, kind of like the folded up mask, the crumpled up mask, because since this was such a big moment where he unmasked himself uh, to to show himself as Santos Escobar, it would it would have been really great to have like the accessory that holds in his hand that looks like the mask folded up. I think that's the only thing that's missing. But um, and honestly, like these hands, like I'm tired of having extra hands on the elites. I have no idea what to do with these anymore. So if they would have cut these hands out, maybe and then instead give him the little mask accessory so we could have the crumpled up mask in his hand as he unveils himself as Santos uh, Escobar. So I'm not sure which head to keep on him. Uh, maybe get two and then you can do both, you know, good guy, bad guy. But uh, for now, I think I'll probably keep him with the mask on just because uh, that's kind of how I knew him before he joined NXT as El Hijo de Fantasma. So. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, subscribe. Um, are you picking this guy up? And if so, are you picking up two? Are you gonna have two in your collection? A mask and unmask. Um, I really like this figure and I like this character and I can't wait for his, the rest of his faction to come out. They are coming out as basics uh, and as chase figures. They're gonna come suited with uh, the face paint on and with the other face paint off. And then they also have the extra mask you put on the guy. So this is gonna be definitely one that you need to pick up to complete your uh, faction in NXT uh, Legado del Fantasma. So don't miss out. Pick this guy up today in your local stores and on Amazon. They were pretty cheap actually recently. So tell me what you guys think in the comments below and I will catch you next time. Follow me at Red Equals Green if you haven't done so yet. Thanks.